Now, new political parties are being launched in the lead-up to next year's general elections. The latest uh, entrant to the political scene, Chiluba, formed three months ago, is now registered with the Electoral Commission of South Africa. For more, I'm joined by its president, uh, Bongani Baloyi. Bongani, thank you very much for your time here on ENCA. Just thank first you. of all, take us through the process that yeah. you had to go through to actually find yourself registered yeah. with the IEC. Look, we had to meet all the legal requirements from the IEC, which means that you must submit uh, with a founding memorandum, a number of signatures uh, that uh, confirm that people are in support of such an organization. But equally, you have to ensure that you're, there's a name of a political party, there's a constitution, and lastly, there's a brand of a political party, which is unlike any other political party in, uh, in colors or in the brand, because mm -hmm. then you find yourself embroiled in and in back and forth from people opposing or objecting to the process. So we went through a smooth process. Uh, we met all the legal requirements. And now we're able to say we are a legally uh, uh, a registered organization today. Mm. So who are Shiluba's financial backers? Shiluba's financial backer is myself. So <laughs> we've been operating from my own overdraft, my own loans and all those sort of things. So at this point in time, we could not even transact heavily into the market because we haven't registered properly and we don't even have a bank account. Only now, this week, a bank account will be opened. Mm. And we're going to start looking at those 20 rands that started to come in to ensure that uh, from our membership subscription and also call on our members to also sub, uh, to donate as well. Because we know who our people are and we know what their capacity is in terms of donation. Mm -hmm. Beyond the 100 rand a month, continuously I don't think will be successful so we know what that group we're looking at and it's important for us to keep our our our, our essence as a new political party avoiding the suspicion that's underpinning the question you're asking about who is funding you because that that leads to very suspicion mm. so we're going to move in that manner mm. and in terms of the signatures obviously a thousand is not too many mm. uh, but uh, I, I guess this was very easy for you three months in the game as Shiluba uh, it was very easy for you to get those thousand signatures look uh, we submitted all of this within the first uh, three weeks so we had to go through the process of gazetting and taking it out to public and all quality assurance processes of the IEC. Mm. So, so we're quite happy we've done that. We've got the members. Now we set our sights uh, firmly on the, on the criteria for all the threshold that one needs to get in getting your registered voters to support or sign your, your papers, confirm that they support you for us to contest for provincial governments across the country. Mm. So that's the next challenge for us to be able to contest in every province. And we're comfortable and confident that we'll be able to meet all of those requirements by the end of November. Mm. Well, three weeks, that's quite a short time to um, get a thousand members or mm. more. Uh, do you think this will translate to how far you make it after next year's elections? It is likely. It's a good indicator whether people support this. Beyond just the signatures, if you go to the ground in Gauteng, in Pumalang, and Limpopo, in KZN, you will be confronted by members of Shuluba. In the most strangers of parts, in the peripheries, in Pangeni, uh, in Vembe district, you, it'll, it's a strange phenomena that we are growing essentially from the peripheries, from those who are the most unheard, the most unnoticed, the ones in the periphery where no one cares about, and is moving inland. So I think it's going to be a big surprise. We can guarantee that we'll definitely uh, be a, 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 a key stakeholder in the conversations after the 2024 election. What makes you deserve the support? It's not about deserve the support, but what we got, it's a, we've got a compelling vision underpinned by a philosophy which is Ubuntu. Now, there's no political party in the country which is founded on a native African philosophy and identity. So I was able to equate my success in governing Midval to this central ideology, which is Ubuntu. So the manifestation and the output and the delivery in Midval was me practicing Ubuntu in a different manner. So I was able to reduce it to its bare minimum to say what made me succeed. Mm -hmm. I'm citing this because people must say to leaders, so in Zen, what have you done? Yes. So I'm able to say, me, not as a young person, uh, I've been able to serve in a municipality and do these things that actually are marketing. So my brand and reputation is there and my name is there. I'm able to do so, but more than that, I've taken, created a platform to be able to replicate what I believe and what I believe was a recipe for success in Midval. And young people are keep saying to us, it's not that we're despondent, it's because there's no choice. There's no choice that looks like us, that speaks like us, that inspires us, where we feel that we're not uh, confronted by barriers of entry all the time, that I must be in the struggle, I must have done this, been so-and-so's member of a member. There's, there's not that requirement in, in this, in this uh, what we're doing here, because you come as you are with your competence, ability, and your shortcomings and you'll be welcome for as long as you subscribe to our core values. Mm. 
mm. of the party. Mm. What's your response to those who are of different races and not black and are saying you are, you know, you're not counting us in uh, in terms of, you know, your party? For the longest of time, Africans have been assimilating. We have been the ones who are schizophrenic. <laughs> in our homes, we are something else. In the in, uh, work, in the economy, we are something else. So for the first time, we're saying, we welcome anybody. But when you come and join Shiloba, you must assimilate. It's no longer the other way around. You are going to embrace and lead a life informed by Ubuntu and the values and principles of Ubuntu. And understand what that means, uh, Ubuntu, in the political ideology sense. But equally, it's, it's core values as well. So when I'm done assimilating and getting into a space, wanting to change and adapt to a space, now people are going to come into our space and adapt and assimilate according to our own culture. Mm. All right. So moonshot packs, are you willing to be a part of any? Our position still remains. Yeah. Uh, they invited us. We said thank you, but no thank you. Yeah. We don't want to be entangled with, with anybody. Uh, we don't want to be part Who's of... Who's there? Who uh, invited you? Uh, the John Stinezin. Okay. Uh, the leader of the DA. Your former home. Uh, hey, now I've got... I've <laughs> 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 caught for it on this. <laughs> so they I mean, invited... you mentioned the mid -vowel. No, 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 absolutely. You were there under the... Yeah. I, I, absolutely. I've never shied away from that. Yeah. So they've reached out. Uh, they were a bit presum presumptuous because within two weeks of announcing they wanted us to join one, there was not even a party, not even a structure. Mm. So it was just presumptuous. So we, 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 we don't want to be uh, linked or associated with anybody. Mm. We even Action SA? Anybody. As, as Kulumina Muntu, okay. uh, they must give us space. Mm. We want to build our party. We want to be able to contest for elections. Any conversation with any political party after elections. Mm. Now, they must not count us in anything. We are not involved in anything. We don't want to be involved in anything. We don't want their funders as well. Mm. People must stop sending their funders to say, we'll give you, but eh, eh, we oh, are so fine. That's how it works. With some, you guys people, the some people saying, if you, we give you this, but you must think about this thing. So we don't want that thing. Mm. It's the bastardization of politics because of this funding thing. They see that we are poor and we've got agency and energy and we're moving on the ground. Now they think they can capture this with uh, monetary value so we can go and speak to a group of people. It will never happen. We will never betray ourselves and our people. All right. Well, we'll speak to you as soon as you've established branches. Your manifesto, obviously, coming up. It's about to get silly during this silly season. Wangani Baloi, the president of Shiluba, speaking to us there in studio.